Here at the Richmond Times-Dispatch, people have gathered to debate the next big issue facing Virginia. However, it isn't about health care or transportation. It's about whether the government should stop selling liquor. One of Governor Bob McDonald's campaign points was to stop the Virginia government from selling liquor, and has been trying since his inauguration. A bill to stop the government's sale of liquor appeared this past spring from Senator Mark Obenchain, but was withdrawn and will appear in the next session. Senator John Watkins, a continued supporter for the privatization of liquor sales, explains the goal of the McDonald administration in selling liquor licenses. The governor has laid out one of the biggest pros as being the, the financial piece of it, and he wants to utilize that uh, to supplement some of the needs for transportation. Even though ABC stores, such as this one in Carytown, bring in a lot of money for the Commonwealth, According to opponents such as Douglas Smith of the Virginia Interfaith Council, the main concerns are the social issues that could be involved with drinking. We know it has an impact on violence in the home. We know it has a property damage impact. The criminal justice system is impacted. Um, there's a whole lot here that nobody's talking about. This isn't about privatization at all. Proponents, however, have other reasons besides economic ones for supporting privatizing ABC stores. Number one, it gets the state out of that role of retailing um, distilled spirits. Another part of the plan, according to Governor McDonnell, is to increase the number of stores selling liquor from a little over 300 currently to 950 after ABC is privatized. Moving to a system that has three times as many liquor stores as they have McDonald's in the state is just crazy. It's lunacy. While the debate at the Richmond Times-Dispatch lasted a few hours, it won't be settled until the General Assembly convenes again this February. This is Christian Wright for VCU's Multimedia Journalism Program.